Right now, we're expanding on our discussion on accrual basis accounting, more specifically, the revenue recognition principle. Now, this states that revenue should be recognized when it is earned. And recognized means that we're going to measure and record it in the accounting system. And earned means that we have fulfilled our obligation to the customer to do whatever work we promised to do or deliver whatever goods we promised. Now, every business expects to collect cash for goods or services, but with this principle, the timing that that cash is received does not dictate when we recognize revenue. So we have three situations that can exist. The first, we receive cash before the sale or services performed. So in this example, and it, it'll be a two-part entry, it, but in this example, our assets increase. However, we do not recognize revenue because we have not performed the sale or service yet. So this also increases a liability. So we're going to debit cash because that's our increase. And we're going to credit unearned revenue. Now, when we perform the sale or service in this case, we've already received the cash, so we're going to leave that alone. However, we are going to decrease or offset this unearned revenue. We're going to kill the unearned revenue. We're going to kill that liability with a debit. And now, since we completed the sale or service, we can finally recognize that revenue. And we're going to credit sales revenue. Now, in the second example, we are receiving cash simultaneously with the seller service. And a good example of this is a pizza delivery guy. He hands us our pizza and fulfills his obligation to deliver. At the same time, we hand him over cash. So we are going to increase the asset and we're going to recognize revenue. So we're going to debit cash and credit sales revenue. In the third and final example, cash is received after we perform the, good, the sale or service. So this means our customer owes us money. We earned it, they haven't paid yet, so this is an asset. And since we have completed the seller service, we are going to recognize revenue. So this will result in an account receivable and revenue being recognized. When they do decide to pay us the cash, I am going to increase an asset. At the same time, I'm going to decrease an asset. And what I mean by that is we're going to debit cash because we received the cash from that customer, but I need to kill this account receivable with a credit. And that's how we account for the timing differences created by when we receive cash versus when we recognize revenue.